Alright, this is chemistry. Now, remember in our last video, I taught you something about liberation of hydrogen in the reaction with acids. So I told you that metals, metals react with what? Acids, dilute acids, to produce corresponding salt and hydrogen and hydrogen. And I told you that if it is HCl, you get this. If it is H2SO4, you get hydrogen. But if it is HNO3, nitrogen acid, it will dilute, uh, it will oxidize this hydrogen to oxidize hydrogen to H2O, this is an oxidizing agent. Now, now look at, let's look at this question. It says, which of the following will liberate hydrogen from dilute tetrahydrogen surfaces acid? Copper, gold, lead, magnesium. Of all these, which one is, I, I, is electropositive, is more electropositive? This one is less electropositive, less is electropositive, less electropositive. This one is more electropositive. So these ones cannot displace hydrogen because hydrogen is higher than copper and gold in the electrochemical series. So if you combine magnesium, if magnesium reacts with an acid, that is, if you have magnesium reborn and you add this dilute H2SO4, it will give you the corresponding salt, magnesium tetrosophysis plus um, hydrogen. Hydrogen. Now, test for hydrogen. Can you remember? If I want to test for hydrogen, what will I use? You insert, a, you bring a glowing splint. Glowing splint. That is light, 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 light. With light, if hydrogen is coming out from, if you have magnesium ribbon here, then you add dilute H2SO4. And odorless, colorless gas will evolve, which is this hydrogen gas. And to confirm it, we have many odorless and colorless gases, like steam. Steam, oxygen, oxygen, carbon, carbon four oxide, these are odorless and colorless gases. So if odorless and colorless gas is coming out, how will you identify it? So if you want to identify, confirm that this is hydrogen gas that is coming out. Bring a light, bring it here. You will hear a pop sound. It will make pop, well, it does pop the light. It, it makes a pop sound and extinguishes the light. It, it extinguishes what? The light, the glowing splint, to extinguish it. It extinguishes it because that hydrogen gas combines with oxygen explosively to form steam. That is what happens. Light, oxygen, pop. It will do pop and light. It will extinguish it because it is steam. So that is how this one happens. So let's look at another question. Look at it now. So anytime you hear pop sound, pop sound is hydrogen gas. Eh? And if you want to tell for hydrogen gas, bring light. If it is oxygen, if it is oxygen, oxygen will rekindle the splint. It will make the light to go higher. Oxygen rekindles a glowing splint. If you want to test for steam, use cobalt 2 chloride. It will turn this cobalt 2 chloride pink. Test for carbon dioxide, you use lime water. Carbon dioxide turns lime water milky. So these are the ways of identifying. Um, odorless and colorless gases. It's a gas is odorless, it's colorless. You have to identify the very one. I repeat, hydrogen will make pop sound. Oxygen will rekindle the splint, the light, to make it to glow more. Um, steam, steam will turn cobalt to chloride pink or anhydrous. Or anhydrous copper 2 tetrahydro surface 6. It will turn this thing, it will turn it blue to make it to become blue. Anhydrous. When it is anhydrous, it's just like this board. Then if you add, if it is steam that is passed through this thing, the, this thing will form a solution, blue, to turn blue. So which means that it is steam. I hope you can understand that. So that is how all these ones. Then come on for I just bring lime water. It will turn down lime water, what? Milk. This is how to identify colorless and odorless gases. All right. Now the answer, let's look at the answer. The answer to this question is what? Magnesium. Magnesium is the answer. Magnesium is the answer. Okay, let's look at another question. Okay, see this question. Hydrogen here again. It's not the same. A gas that forms a black precipitate. Gas. Black precipitate with lead to ethanoate. Ethanoate. This is organic chemistry. Okay, maybe in our next series, I'm going to, we are going to solve questions, jump questions in organic chemistry, all of them naming all of them
them. If you want us to do that, please make comment in the comment section. Treat just say, Mr. Primus, answer questions in organic chemistry. Pass questions. I will do that immediately. Please. All right, let's continue. Look at this. Black. Black precipitate. This is a significant reaction. In fact, when you perform this experiment in the laboratory, you'll be happy. You'll be very, very happy. You'll be very, very happy. You'd like to see this change. This change, yeah? So, let's do ethanate. Ethanate. Ethanate is under alkanoates. Esters. Esters. So, let two do ethanate. Yeah? So, now, chlorine. Is it chlorine? Or ammonia or hydrogen or hydrogen sulfide? Chlorine gas. This, this gas has irritating odor. It is a it is a hal halogen. Eh? It, is, it, is, it has a smell that is not a uh, good chlorine. Eh? And we know we use chlorine in killing bacteria. It's also used in reproducing bleaching agents as a halogen. So chlorine cannot when chlorine reacts with nitrate, it cannot give you a black precipitate. It can't give you a black pre precipitate. It can only give you if it reacts with lead because you can use a uh, lead. If it's lead 2 trionate with 5, we can use it to precipitate uh, chlorine or even lead 2 ethanate. It will give you a white precipitate. Uh, we can use it if it is silver trionate with 5, you have a uh, silver chloride, which is an insoluble salt, or lead 2 chloride, which is an insoluble salt, but it's not black. So, ammonia, most of the time, we use ammonia. If you combine ammonia and hydrogen chloride, you get dense white fume, ammonium chloride. So you cannot use ammonia and this one cannot give you, it can even, it can even precipitate a lead to ion, but it's not black. Now, hydrogen gas. Hydrogen cannot give you this. We have talked about it, how to identify it. Now, hydrogen sulfide. Look at this. Hydrogen sulfide is a reducing agent. This is the answer, but let me explain it. This is a reducing agent. And because it's a reducing agent, it reacts with lead to ethanate to form black lead to sulfide. When it reacts with this lead 2 ethanate, it will form PBS, lead 2 sulfide. This lead 2 sulfide is black. It's black. Now, it is, this is used in, in differentiate or confirming, yes, confirmatory test for reducing agent. Most of the time, it's either hydrogen sulfide or sulfur oxide. These two are reducing agents. So, if you want to confirm the presence of this or this, though, ordinarily, this hydrogen sulfide has smells like rotten egg. Smells like rotten air. By the order, you can even say, ah, this is hydrogen sulfide. But in the laboratory, if you say, let's still confirm it, you can use lead to ethanate. So if it's lead to ethanate, it will turn black. With this one, there will be no clear, visible reaction. So that is how to identify hydrogen sulfide as a reducing agent. It turns black. So this is the answer to the question. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, let's look at another question now.